Okay, so disclaimer before we even start the video, I just want to make it clear that everything I say in this video is my own opinion. It's just from my own experience. I am not a dietitian. I am not a personal trainer. I don't know everything there is to know about losing weight, but I am just speaking from experience from someone who has struggled several times to lose weight, for someone who has reached their lowest point, who has hit the 200 pound weight and I'm just sharing with you guys how I was able to lose that weight so that hopefully it helps someone. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up about my weight loss journey and I'm also gonna be offering some like tips. So let's go ahead and get right into it because I feel like this is gonna be a long one. So December of 2018, I was weighing in at 215 pounds. I may not have looked like I was 215 pounds, but I think it's because I carried my weight a little bit more evenly throughout my body that it didn't look to be as much, but I was definitely there and I was feeling it. And oh boy, was a lot of it in my boobs. At night, I was having trouble falling asleep. I literally had to lay in bed in a certain position or like hold my boobs in a certain way. Literally having trouble breathing. Like I couldn't fall asleep without having a little bit of anxiety of was I gonna wake up the next morning? It like really started to get to me though when I could literally feel my heart pumping. But that was like the tipping point where I was like, shit, like I have to change. I have to change things because this is not okay. I was even running out of breath just talking. My diet was like that of five people. I would literally sit down and eat a whole box of pizza by myself. And then I would follow it up with a giant bag of hot Cheetos all by myself. And then I would also add dessert on top of that. Like when I say I was at my lowest, I was literally at my lowest. I did not have a healthy relationship with food at all whatsoever. And I had tried various times to lose weight. It's not like it was never in my mind to try and make a change before. I definitely attempted to do it. Like every New Year's, I'd be that person that was like, okay, the diet starts tomorrow. I'm going to stick through with it. And then I'd try it maybe like the first time, like for breakfast. And then by lunchtime, I wanted some chips or I wanted something. I'd break and then I'd be like, there's no point anymore. I'm going to give up. And then I wouldn't continue with it. Or I'd try it for maybe a couple of days, but maybe I was working out consistently but i wasn't eating the right things and so i just i wasn't all in on it and i wish that i could tell you guys that there's this like great secret that will help you lose weight overnight but there literally is no secret when people started noticing me losing weight people would ask me like hey girl what's your secret what are you doing you look good and i wish that i could have something for them like okay yeah drink this tea do this and that but like truth is it's not that it's literally you showing up for yourself and you committing to it that's what's going to cause the change and it will take a while it won't happen overnight you literally have to have the patience for it and most importantly you have to be in the right mindset because like i said i had tried this various times but nothing ever stuck and then just suddenly january of 2019 i think because i had already been scared of the way that my health was feeling the way that i was feeling i totally was not confident whatsoever something clicked in me january of 2019 and i finally stuck through with it it's gonna be so hard i can already tell but we're gonna push through it we're gonna make it this is gonna be our year i think probably within the first month actually i did see some sort of change and here's the thing that when you are losing weight you're gonna lose a lot of weight at the start of it because your body's not used to doing all this exercise not eating all of these like good foods that it is going to cause a change in you and then you'll hit a plateau but once you hit that plateau you cannot give up you have to keep pushing through it so that you can keep seeing that change a weight loss journey should always be about loving yourself it should be about bettering yourself bettering your health at the end of the day it doesn't matter how much skinnier you get or how much slimmer you can possibly get in the fastest way possible if you don't love yourself then the journey's not over you need to love yourself and put that relationship with yourself before anything i was definitely not a confident person when i was weighing in at my heaviest i did not feel good about the way that i looked i couldn't wear the clothes that i wanted to wear my confidence was just 
down like it it was non-existent but despite that i loved myself i knew my worth and i knew that i deserved more and i think that that is why i was able to better myself because i knew that i i didn't deserve to be a prisoner in my own body i didn't deserve to feel so horrible to feel like i was like not gonna wake up the next morning and i was able to finally put myself first work on myself and do this for my health if you go in with that mindset that you're going to work out because you're going to get skinnier then you're going to end up disappointing yourself because when you're in that state of mind you expect the results to be quick but nothing sustainable happens overnight and if you want it to be sustainable you have to keep showing up you have to keep being there for yourself food and working out go hand in hand i think that's something a lot of us tend to not recognize especially when we're blocked by the beautiful image of junk food and fast food those things that taste so good but don't necessarily do your body that good as i mentioned there were times where i would try to work out but i was still eating really bad i was still having myself that box of pizza i was still having myself the big bag of hot cheetos and when i wouldn't see any results i would feel so disappointed because i'm like i'm working out what is happening why am i not seeing any changes and the reason why was because i wasn't balancing my diet and my workouts i was literally just trying to do some workouts over here but nothing was changing over here now i don't think that you should or that you have to give up all those things that you love and like quit cold turkey because if you do give up all of those things right away a lot of the times you end up snapping and you give up because you want that stuff so what i think is very important is moderation you can still have that stuff that you really enjoy but just eat less of what you're used to eating. I loved pizza and I loved hot Cheetos. I did not give those things up overnight. I couldn't. When I literally started my weight loss journey, I kind of went in with the idea that I was going to quit cold turkey. Because I was like, okay, I'm going to cut all of these things out. And I did good for three days because like I said, something in me snapped and I was able to consistently do this for three days but then literally on the fourth day i had a breakdown i cried because i wanted hot cheetos and i didn't even know that it was because i wanted hot cheetos i literally just got a panic attack i started panicking i just felt like something in my life was missing and it was literally hot cheetos because they had gone to my head that i needed that it was weird it was almost like i was addicted no i was addicted like you can literally get addicted to food and i was so i had a breakdown i let myself have those hot cheetos as soon as i had them i was fine and that for me was another example of why i needed to make these changes because i was so dependent on that junk food on those hot cheetos and i was like that cannot that's not good <laughs> and even throughout my journey when i tried to not eat unhealthy i would literally sneak in hot cheetos into my room i'd stop at the gas station i'd buy a bag of hot cheetos put them in my purse sneak them into my room and then at night i'd sit there and I'd eat them because i needed them i was literally so addicted to them but i was still losing the weight because i was able to give up some of the other stuff like pizza i was able to give up going to burger king every single day i was able to give up going to mcdonald's every single day and yeah the hot cheetos were bad for me but i had sized down from the big bag of hot cheetos to like the gas station size bag and so yes it was still bad yes it was still a lot but just giving up some of that stuff where i would give up going out every single day where i'd only have like two slices of pizza versus the whole box or a small bag of hot cheetos versus the giant bag to myself so you don't have to quit those things cold turkey right away you can eventually get to that point where you might be able to give them up but don't feel like you have to deprive yourself of those delicious snacks those delicious food that you like but you know just have some balance some moderation you gotta learn to have a healthy relationship with food allow yourself to have those little like guilty pleasures every now and then but don't binge them don't just eat them because they're there i was so bad like i literally wasn't even hungry most of the time i wasn't even craving these things most of the time but they were just there i was having them because 
they were right there. Like with everything in life, you have to be consistent. And you don't have to like overwork yourself and do the absolute most to feel like you're making a change, but you just have to keep showing up for yourself. You have to have the patience to keep pushing through even those hardest moments when you feel like giving up, when you feel like everything that you've been working for, everything you've given up has been for nothing because you will have that. Literally, weight loss is a roller coaster of emotions. You just have to remember that nothing sustainable happens overnight. And remember why you're doing this, you know, to better yourself, to better your health. That number on the scale can either be motivating or it can be disappointing. Let's face it, as much as we want to pretend like that number doesn't affect us, we depend on numbers to measure our growth. And so a lot of the time when you are trying to lose weight, you weigh yourself every single day because you expect that number on the scale to go down because you've been putting in the work every day but the thing is that from day to day your body changes i would suggest just weighing yourself once a week just so that you can kind of track your progress but remember that that number on the scale isn't everything and there were times when like i would go a whole week and i probably only lost one to two pounds and it would make me feel a little disappointed because i was like there are so many things that i did this week that was more than last week and i lost more weight last week but you have to remember that you know our body retains water especially when you're on your period sometimes we gain muscle weight and we think that it's actually us putting pounds back on but we just have to remember that our body's constantly changing as long as we continue to show up for ourselves and be there for ourselves and you know have that consistency that's all that matters i actually hate breakfast i am not a breakfast person if i could skip the damn thing i would skip it but I started noticing that when I wouldn't have breakfast, I would eat a very large lunch and I would have a very large dinner. When I started having breakfast, because I had already had this kickstart meal, my lunch wasn't as big and my dinner wasn't as big. But breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It really is because it refuels your body and it gives you energy for the day. So you want to make sure that you always put breakfast first, especially because it's at the start of the day and you have the whole day ahead of you to basically get in some exercise and whether that exercise is an actual workout or if you're walking throughout the day or you know whatever you have a whole day ahead of you so breakfast should be a pretty good decent sized meal and then for my lunch that is where i had my most biggest meal of the day a lot of times i would have chicken and broccoli oh my god i ate a lot of chicken and broccoli um i'd have a bunch of soups i would have tuna if my family wanted to order some sort of food or if i wanted to go out with my friends or something I try to generally schedule that around lunchtime. Most of the time, like I would say 80% of the time, I was generally eating healthier foods or like home cooked meals versus eating out. And when I went out, I was trying to have a healthier option. So like if we went to Chili's, we love Chili's, me and my friend love Chili's. Instead of getting like my chicken and cheese quesadillas, I started getting like a steak, mashed potatoes and broccoli, which generally isn't the healthiest meal out there. But you know, I had my proteins, I had, you know, the mashed potatoes, which was, you know, satisfying my like carbs. And then I had, you know, the broccoli. So I think it was a very very good option and alternative to just having a bunch of chicken quesadillas <laughs> but then there were times when we did go to like jack-in-the-box and I would get something from there so like I said I didn't restrict myself and completely quit all of these things I just try to do things with moderation or you know I try to have healthier alternatives and so then for dinner that is where I had my lightest meal of the day and I ate a lot of yogurt, <laughs> strawberry yogurt. And at first it was really hard. Like I was still hungry. I was still wanting to have other food, but I just had to push through it for a little bit. And then eventually like that's all I needed and I was satisfied. I didn't need anything else. That just kind of helped because you know, it wasn't a big meal and my body had time to still digest it. At the beginning of my weight loss journey, I obviously didn't have the stamina. I didn't have the motivation to really do like a Chloe Ting workout my go-to was cardio fat burn workouts and I owe a lot of credit to this channel right here 
this channel has a lot of like intermediate or like beginner workouts i actually didn't really focus on anything ab related at the start the one video that i did do that was ab related was by emmy wong it was this one right here and it's a standing ab workout and that was easier for me because i had no court strength so i had to stand up in order for me to do any sort of like workout so that really helped me a lot to work out my core but not like strain it because you obviously want to have moderation with your workouts too because you don't want to go in like super crazy and like end up hurting yourself then when i got a little bit stronger i started following sydney cummings workouts and i loved her workouts they were very challenging here are the 10 purchases that i made that made my workouts a little bit easier and a little bit more fun okay now this one you're gonna say oh my god i've heard this a million times but there's a reason why you've heard it a million times need to drink a lot of water so i highly suggest purchasing a reusable water cup that you can carry with you everywhere because it is very important to drink water at the start of my weight loss i did not drink a whole gallon of water i didn't do that until just last year but it is very important to stay hydrated and drink water so i would suggest getting something like this just so that you can constantly have it with you and you're drinking water more consistently if you do already drink a lot of water and you want to challenge yourself to drink a gallon of water a day which does have a lot of benefits i would suggest buying one of these bad boys they are on amazon it's easy to just sort of keep track and make sure that you're drinking the whole gallon i actually poured into here because i cannot for the life of me drink out of such a huge water gallon because i just imagine my spit going back in there so i cannot i cannot so i just poured into here and then i drink it from here i don't know was that too much information maybe i should have stopped so something that actually motivates me to work out is having cute workout clothes and i personally am very picky about the sort of leggings that i get if they don't fit my body properly if they don't hug my body properly then i'm not enjoying my workout so the ones that i recommend are fabletics and gymshark and getting cute stuff from there just sort of makes me feel like i said a little bit more motivated to work out okay so going along with cute workout clothes i feel like us girls need that very supportive bra especially if you are bigger in this department when i was working now and if i didn't have that bra with that extra support i was not comfortable working out because i could just feel everything moving and it was not a fun time i finally found this amazing bra company i actually got like a facebook ad for it and I ended up purchasing it. This is a brand called She Fit. I love She Fit. Oh my God, it is just the best. I credit this to helping me losing that weight and continuing to work out because if I did not have that supportive bra, I would not have made it through. So why I love this bra is because first of all, it has a little bit, just a tiny bit of padding. It's not like super padding, but just enough so you feel comfortable that you're not showing through, you know? And then the straps on it kind of crisscross here at the back. If you need to tighten the girls up, it also has little Velcro so that you can tighten it and then just fasten it back here. And that way it's a little bit tighter. So what I love about this is that actually for the longest time, even when I was losing the weight and I needed to downsize on these, I didn't have to because the strap gave me that extra support that I needed for a while because of the adjustable straps. It adjusts on the band itself. So if you need to tighten this, again, it has Velcro where you can tighten the bra a little bit more and just have it more secure around your rib cage. Also, this is a zipper. So, you know, you don't have to be struggling with trying to get it off of you. It literally just zips up. So you would, you know, put it on this way. It also has these little hooks in here. If you need that extra support, like I'm talking, this bra gives you so much support. Your girls are going nowhere. Okay, next one is equipment. You definitely don't need equipment, especially when you're first starting now. But I personally did want to get equipment because it made it feel a little bit more like I had the proper stuff if I needed it. I tried working out at the gyms and I couldn't really like get a full workout in because you know, if I was dying on the treadmill, gasping for some air, I felt like everyone could hear me. And so I decided to put some money in 
and buy some equipment i would suggest going to marshall's marshall's has a lot of like workout stuff i bought these weights from there they're just five pound weights this is what i used when i first started and honestly it still gives me quite the burn i don't do a lot of strength training which i should and i plan to do but this just gives me that extra like weight that i need or the extra burn i was able to upgrade to these these are just seven and a half i know they look heavier than they are but they're definitely not that heavy i'm just very weak i also bought this one from marshall's and then i got these ankle weights from burlington once i did start getting stronger i also splurged on a resistant band and let me tell you get yourself these like cloth ones don't get the plastic ones at least those for me kept rolling down on me and i could not focus on my workout so i would suggest these because they actually stay okay so this is kind of like an equipment but i also felt like this deserved its own little spot i highly suggest getting yourself a yoga mat personally i prefer the ones that are nice and thick because the actual yoga mats most of them are very thin i don't know if i just don't have as much fat around my bones but when i'm working now i need that cushion otherwise i cannot continue on with it especially if i'm doing anything ab related because my tailbone is very uncomfy against the floor so i need this extra cushion and i highly suggest getting this because it will make it easier on your body when you're working out this is a very random one but led lights i like the ones that go around your room just because you know you can put the strobe light on or you can put the fade light on or you can just keep it one color it makes your room a little bit more fun especially if you have music going on i don't know the vibes are just immaculate and having those led lights really changed my workouts for me it just made it more fun <laughs> very important and you don't need this specifically but a music player of any sort i actually just recently got this one for christmas and it sounds amazing and you know when i'm gonna work out turn on the led lights put this bad boy on put a little workout playlist and we're good to go so going along with this i also recommend putting together a little workout playlist so i have a workout playlist and i'll actually link it down below if you guys want to listen to it i don't know see if it's your cup of tea have that music because music when you're like working out and you get a really pumped up song it gives you like this extra boost of like power that's why i like to listen to more like pumped up more rap music when i'm working out this is something that i feel like was necessary for me it is not necessary for everyone and you don't need this but if you're like me and you like to see the sweat i suggest getting this right here it is a waist trimmer this is not a waist trainer do not get that confused this does not squeeze your intestines it just sort of goes around your waist and it helps you sweat a lot more in your core area so this is just by sweet sweat and on top of this if you want that extra sweat I highly recommend getting yourself one of these bad boys. I love this. I actually don't have it right now because I haven't purchased it in a while. I'm not like dependent on this. I don't use this all the time. I also don't use this all the time, but you know, whenever I want to get that little extra good workout and get that extra little sweat on, these two bad boys together, mm, it will have you dripping sweat. I mainly only use these two things for the cardio portion of my workouts. I don't use this when I'm doing any sort of ab just because personally, I want to get stronger in my core area and I feel like if I have this on, I'm not focusing on that area. So I only use this when I'm doing some sort of fat burn or cardio workout. So this one is definitely a more pricier purchase. You definitely don't need this, but it is very helpful. You also don't need an Apple watch specifically. You can get any sort of like smart watch. They have like the Fitbits. I know they have some that are like $60 versus, you know, this, but just get yourself one of the ones that you can use to like track your workouts. These are just fun because like I said, it has little workouts here where like let's say you're going on an outdoor walk you can turn this on track your walk it will track your calories that you burn throughout the day it will track your steps it'll track you here with your little rings you know how many times you stood up how many calories you burn throughout the day how active you were throughout the day so this 
or just any sort of watch like this is very helpful. Now the last thing that I highly recommend is getting yourself a full length mirror. For me personally, I like to see myself working out because that way I can make sure that I'm maintaining, you know, my form. I like to look in the mirror and sort of visualize, you know, when you have your music playing, you're in the zone, I like to visualize my future self and like see my best version of me. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be her. I want to be her and that just sort of helps me. All right guys, that is it for this video. As I mentioned before, this is just sort of coming from my own experience. I'm just sharing my own opinion. Obviously, some things that work for me may not work for someone else. So I wanted to share that with you guys so that hopefully maybe it helped someone. Or maybe they made you feel motivated or you were able to relate to me and know that you're not alone in the way that you feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. If you guys have not yet subscribed, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button and you can also turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video but with that being said guys i will see you all later peace woke up at 11 o'clock i ain't got no job what the hell should i do today this feel like some i don't give a fuck oh my god shut the fuck up i ain't hearing what you gotta say what the deal how you feel not important all i'm thinking about is riding in these porsches but don't be coming at me with that horse shit acting like you know me that's the worst shit